Hey there guys, Breno here and welcome to another t another forestry farm guide and in this here forestry farm guide we're not actually going to be working with forestry farms we're going to be working with the item tesseracts now the item tesseracts are a part of thermal expansion basically what I want to do is transport my sugar cane now to say this centre here was thousands and thousands of blocks away We all we have to do is place our item tesseract here click on it Shug King Farm out. I've already tried to do this just so I don't mess up. Okay, so we set the frequency. Items are now going to go into this little buffer. So then if we just say, okay, you want our item tester at here, but you want to turn the frequency of that. Okay, so that's set up now. If we place our chest here, what we should see is our Shug King. I'm just going to place some in. You can also see that some will, more will come in. So that's at 12 at the moment, and we already stack at 64 that come in too. So then if we say, okay, well, I want to pump this out, but then I want to make power out of this. Okay, well, that can be done. If we just place our retriever here to pull items out. Well, actually, if we wanted to, we could upgrade this block to a filter. A retriever only pulls, um, I believe, one item at a time, a filter pulls four stacks. So we just say, okay, we're gonna place it this way. This will then pull out. But okay, how are we gonna make power? Well, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna set up a big water source. Okay, if I just then take this, uh, this out like so. And then basically what we're doing is we're powering all our forestry farms and future forestry farms from a single sugarcane farm which can be made a lot bigger but for now it's going to be okay so we have our what do we call it again aqueous accumulators right here and we probably made this a little too big so we're just going to have hmm actually i'm going to fill this block in and we're going to have just for safe measure another two of these aqueous accumulators that is and okay aqueous accumulator again place here place here now we're going to want a water block oh, sorry a water source so if we just got a water bucket like so then just place water source blocks all around your aqueous accumulators these will then fill up the internal storage which is 4,000 micro buckets okay that's done so okay what we're gonna do with these these are now filling up we're gonna say right we're having fermenters so let's say we're having hmm how are we gonna do this give me a block block one two three we're going to use four for now we're going to put our fermenters directly on top of here hmm now we also need a redstone energy cell block just to start these off but then they'll power the cells after okay now how do we get items into here well we'll sort that out in a sec we're going to need our liquid ducts. If we just shift click these bad boys, you can see they're starting to fill up with water. And now, depending on the length of this video, I hope you don't mind. And now, what we're going to need to do here is we need to just give it a whack with the crescent hammer. Okay. Now, let's give this a whack. You whack, 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 whack. Come on. You connect, please. You connect, please. Please connect. You have to give these a whack so they'll connect. Come on, connect for me. Okay, doesn't want to work. If I just give this a whack again, please connect. <laughs> All right, we'll just do it this way. Um, if I just give this a whack, why? Ah, there we go. Give this a whack here. Then we can then cancel out these two. Sometimes. They're a lot of funny and they don't want to connect. Um, now if we just, whoops, I uh, shift click that off. Come on, will you just connect for me? Right, we'll do it the same way as we did before. Okay, 
Can you connect for me? Connect! <laughs> okay, so that's decided to connect and then we'll have you, but can you connect this first time please? Okay, so there we go. They're connecting. Now we need to put our water in here. So we're simply just going to say, okay Liquiduct, you come straight into here and can you connect to my fermenters please? And that will then put our water into our fermenters. Now we're just going to need to give this a whack again. As you can see, they're now filling these up with water. Okay, so we now need to get our items in here. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to pump our items in at the top. So if we just get on top of these bad boys. Okay, I believe we can add it to the top. If not, we can always change it around. I have this in my world, but I um, connect it myself. I just put the items in myself, but this is basically for me learning as well. Okay, so we're going to need to get some power in these at the moment. So we're just going to say, okay, we want this to be a energy, energy block, just for now. So just provided some necessary power just for the moment, just so it starts to do what we need it to do. But okay, well, how are we going to power it if we don't have nothing? As you can see, this chest is filling up. This chest should now dump its items in the top, like so. Now, if these don't have space in the top, they will just shoot back along until they've, they've done. Now, they aren't getting power because remember the last time I said we have to power these um, by right clicking on this part so it outputs. Okay, so now we're outputting. How are we going to get? Well, we should be outputting. Let me just check. Are you getting energy? Ah! To start these we need a little bit of lava so let's just get some lava cans i'm going to want 64 stack please and we're going to separate these into 16s just for the moment and they, i believe they need to go in there so they don't want to work with them do they what will you work with and i know you work with lava cells do you work with lava cells Hmm. How did I start these before? In my world? Two seconds, I'll be right back. Okay guys, I dipped a little bit. I had to go and check my world. It was the it's the bio oh, what was it what were they called again? It was the biogas engines that needed larvae. I dipped a little bit. Okay, we need fertilizer. Now I'm just going to grab myself four stacks of this. Now this is made by Appetite and Dirt. Now don't forget in the future we will be getting dirt from farms. So don't worry about that. That will be getting transport and made into fertilizer and everything will be fully automated. As you can see, them farms are running out of power. So we need to get this up and running pretty fast. So fertilizer, fertilizer and fertilizer and one is missing fertilizer now we need to get this biofuel from here okay but then we need them pretty little biogas engines which also need to be powered but don't worry about that we're going to be making our own power soon enough so let's just say we're going to run the power um, along this back line for now but we will be powering this ourselves pretty soon 
for now we're gonna say we're having hmm how are we gonna do this we're gonna take these blocks out like so we're gonna say we're having um quite a few biogas engines we just hit with the hit these with the crescent to uh, hammer these will flip about now we want you powering that way please and you powering that way um actually hmm i'm gonna power this properly like you can go there you can go there now we also need to make sure these bottom ones are facing the right way too so if we just keep giving them a hit don't worry the episode won't be much longer as soon as we get this bit finalized we'll be pretty much fine then we want to say we need our liquid ducts connected so our biogas by our biofuel can then travel into here okay so now we have our biofuel and as i think about it i think we have a bit too many of these so we're just going to keep the bottom line for now um, like so yep and we can get rid of these liquid ducts on top and this is where we need our larvae okay so what i'm going to do is just separate these into some pretty small numbers and then i'm just going to put the lava cells in here now you only really need these to start and as the farm you know carries on and it's been on for a long time you do need to put these on but don't worry about that i can show you how to make lava yourself in a future episode okay so our biogas isn't coming in here, in here yet so if we just Give these a tap and i believe we need a redstone signal so mm, 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 yeah if we just put a marble block here i hope this doesn't counter up with that um yeah we'll just put our marble blocks here like so and then we'll get just do it the fancy way because these are in creative we'll get some red alloy wire and we'll get a lever thank you for the lever we'll run our red alloy wire here and we'll click it on here as you can see our biogas is going straight in now this design might not be as good as other people's designs but not to worry okay um, we also need to have power here okay simple way of doing that just connect some marble blocks over the top then connect some red alloy wire like so we could run this along the bottom but i'm just going to run it over the top just for tutorial purposes now these bad boys should start as you can see they're now producing um power which is powering this bad bit so if we now get rid of this energy resident energy cell frame this is going to power itself essentially so are we producing are we going enough power in here well, our items have run out for now where are we getting power okay so now to get our energy tesseract we might have to actually use some saplings but it doesn't really matter i can actually go and set that up in a minute but we need our energy tesseract connected up to this so we're just going to turn it to our energy tesseract here and we're just going to say frequency to bio fuel energy save set frequency so frequency is set as you can see the items are coming in i am going to have uh, the saplings coming in off uh, both farms um we can go and set that up pretty soon okay so now instead of having these redstone energy cells we're going to want to have energy test racks uh, if i can get through here like a freaking jungle 
and we're going to have an energy test rot here and we're going to say biofuel energy set the frequency and as you can see it's working and then if we go over here and we set our frequency to biofuel energy okay now head over to the to the biofuel farm now this is a bit i'm excited for we can just say okay you'll ring off that energy too click on there set the frequency that should start biofuel in it and as you can see all these farms are now working okay so we had that problem that we weren't getting enough items into that biofuel center well okay that's going to be sorted out right now um our saplings are going in this chest right okay that can be sorted out very easily i'm going to delete that block saplings have gone straight back into the farm oh well uh, it's going to be a bit of a mess for a bit but who cares okay so now we're going to have a, a diamond pipe connected into here saying mm -mm -mm, saying green you're only allowed to go through into saplings okay now item, item test racks can go here and it's not going to connect is it hmm Mm, let me have a think about that okay problem resolved we basically all we have to do is add are these actually going in here uh, why do you not want going in oh problem not solved be right back Problem solved once again. As soon as we have a diamond transport pipe, we can't connect into a filter. So we say, okay, you connect into another chest. Why are the rubber ones coming over here? Hmm, I'll sort that out. You connect into another chest, which I means, okay, while the saplings are coming down this line, they're. What the hell's what are that? I don't know why the rubber ones are. Maybe the rubber form needs moving a little bit you then come down this line you're allowed into the red slot sand is allowed into the yellow slot pretty simple right so we got our energy test right there now let's go and do the exact same for this might be a little bit different i'm not sure if rubber tree farm rubber tree saplings work in there so let's go and test okay do you work in here? And the fact is, they do. So yay, we can now have our rubber coming out of here. Hmm. Simple enough. We can just have our filter. Hmm. Let's change this to a diamond block. We put you here and we say we want a timer here, thank you. Uh, and then we then say you're going in our item test right. But then we gotta say actually you're gonna be a diamond pipe. Okay. Then we're gonna connect another crystal chest here and say blue side you can have okay blue side you can have sand but yellow side you can have oh god done this one you can have where's my rubber 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 let's just get one out of here you can have my rubber tree sapling uh, whoops click on this yellow you can have the rubber tree saplings okay so that that should now work in the future we will get something to do with this okay guys so as it goes we now have our system taking out the saplings from this farm 
as we can see as soon as this gets 64 let me just show you um, let's get 64 saplings as soon as soon as he has 64 oh whoopsies from me I haven't put a timer here so timer goes here as soon as he has 64 if we set him right yeah that's right them items will go straight over to here and go straight into one of them fermenters now do we have no that is exact set up exactly right so now we are running our farm our all three farms are powering the self essentially so what are we getting out of this well essentially we're getting free energy okay and another essential bit is we can eventually convert the apples which we will do with item test racks so the farms will be a little bit messy in the inner ring but they'll be fine convert our apples into apple juice which i'll show in another little mini show to this and the oak we're going to convert into maybe charcoal which will go into a big barrel uh, or and then for the resin We'll probably end up cooking it and the rubber will end up cooking that so maybe the next bit will automate the rubber logs and we'll automate the but we're going to use might use ender chest for that and we're going to actually we'll just set it, the items at tesser action a different frequency uh, and then we'll automate the logs turning into charcoal then we'll automate the rubber uh, logs and the sticky resin getting turned into rubber and we'll also automate a way to create EU power. So anyway guys, I hope you're enjoying this uh, series. These are all just collected little thoughts in my head that I am going to use in my world. So it's helping me out. But also, if you don't want me to do the method of charcoal and that, I might actually leave it for next episode because we've gone off the forestry farms a little bit. Uh, and then the next episode, we'll start doing the wheat farm and things like that. Anyway guys, I'll see you later. Hope you've enjoyed. If you like this episode, remember to leave that like, uh, click that like button. And if you want to subscribe for more, click that subscribe button. Anyway guys, see you later. Hope you've had fun.